Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens as we celebrate the 79th anniversary of the Drive-In Movie Theater. We were talking about your experiences at a drive-in. Now, I've been to the Kenwood. We were talking about South Park here locally. And, of course, Georgetown, I think, still exists right across the river. And it's a great experience, you know, because the kids can run wild, bring a cooler, get some popcorn, enjoy the outdoors, make sure you bring mosquito repellent. But, but it is a good time. Sean Garber is with me now. And, ladies and gentlemen, my female numbers just went up. They tripled. Uh, he is the George Clooney of Louisville. Uh, <laughs> Sean Garber is here with Great A Auto Parts. And before I go to the phones here real quick, Sean, do you have any memories of, of the drive-in? I do. I okay. love the drive-in. Me yep. and, and my five uninvited guests. We <laughs> went all the time. Uninvited guests. So would that, would that give you some use for your trunk? Uh, yeah. It's it very inexpensive. One ticket, everybody gets in. Everybody gets in. Didn't yeah. they kind of wonder about who goes to the drive-in by themselves? Didn't they ever question that? No? Well... You know, everybody was by themselves. That's right. Everybody was. You're right. You're I was with you. We all, right. we all met there. That's right. There yeah. you go. We all did meet there. All right. We're going to talk to Sean Garber in a second. But let's grab some phone calls real quick. Let's talk to Barbara, who I think, uh, Barbara, are you celebrating the anniversary of the drive in theater? Hi, Barbara. Uh, yes. I remember when I was, uh, I don't know, 10 or 12 years old, the lady across the street would pile all the girls in the neighborhood in the, her station wagon. We'd head out Dixie Highway and go to the Valley, Valley Drive-In. And uh, on the way, we'd stop at the McDonald's and get a 25-cent hamburger on the way. See, the, the fact that you know all those details, Barbara, tells me that's a good memory for you, is it not? I also remember, yeah, it was. And I also remember the Dixie Drive-In. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, See, and there there's a Kmart there now. See, I think, you know, due to the cost of real estate and other businesses coming up, and of course, big screen televisions, you know, they're, they're almost a thing of the past, almost obsolete, but you can still get that experience at the Georgetown Drive-In. I hope Georgetown loves us because we are plugging the heck out of their business. All right, we'll go back to the phones here in a couple of minutes, more of your phone calls. Sean Garber is with me, and Sean Garber is with Grade A Auto Parts, and this is not your daddy's auto parts. This is not a scrap metal yard. This, there's much more going on there, and I've asked Sean to come on. Because, uh, Sean, I think a lot of people, there is, there's ways to save money when it comes to fixing your automobile. And in these tough economic times, I want you to tell me a little bit about that. Why should they consider grade A auto parts? Well, what we offer, you know, the stereotype of, of our business is a junkyard. And uh, as you know, by being out there, it's, come, it's, it's, a, wow. it's a long way from a junkyard. <laughs> but really what it offers the consumer is it offers um, OEM, which is... Uh, manufacture parts for their vehicles as opposed to going to an auto zone or, or any auto parts store and we can typically save them between 50 to 60 percent on, on, on any part that they're needing um, and with our vast inventory and uh, partners we can virtually locate any part that they're looking for. See and, and something else I think is fascinating you, this place is it is it is a t finely tuned machine I mean, you could eat off the floor there at, at Great A Auto Parts. Nice people. And, and so I'm wondering how the process works. Okay, you need an auto part. And, and something else I want to throw in, there's so much information I want to get out there, though, is these parts are guaranteed. These aren't yeah, parts that aren't going to work. They're going to work for a week. These parts are guaranteed, much like new, correct? We have a, we have a minimum of six-month warranty. And obviously, there are additional warranties up to five years available. So, uh, um, and most importantly, we have a 100% customer satisfaction guarantee. So regardless, you know, we're, we're there to make the customer happy. Um, uh, obviously, as we, as we discussed, you know, the perception of going to a junkyard and, and someone giving, giving them something they don't want, that is absolutely not what we do. Um, but the best way to get a hold of us, I mean, you can get a hold of us multiple. You can come out and see us. We're at 7301 Grade Lane. Mm -hmm. You can call us at uh, 368-4040. There's your information, yes. Um, or you can go to our website at uh, gradeaautoparts.com and, and uh, you, can, you can locate parts on there as well. Uh, we like to talk to our customers, so we highly recommend that they come and see us or they call us. Uh, some of the parts are technical, so it does require some conversation with our uh, uh, service reps. And, uh, and we love to do that. We love to provide that service. But it is a great savings to, to, to our customers and to the consumer. Um, like I said, it's manufactured parts at half the price. Yes, and, and they're all categorized, so like, like uh, Sean was saying, if you give Grade A Auto Parts a call and say, here's the part I need, do you have it, you're probably going to get an answer very quickly, correct? Yeah, they'll be able to locate it on the spot, and, uh, and they may even be able to diagnose some other issues that they're having that they were unaware of. So and 50 so, to 60 percent off. Absolutely. How many, how many cars do you think you handle per day there at Grade A Auto Parts? Just curious. It's hard to say. You know, we'll get in, uh, we, we buy scrap metal, so we take in uh, uh, junk and, and wrecked vehicles as well. So we'll get in anywhere between 
20 to, to 40 cars a day. And, and, and uh, certainly uh, we look at those cars for parts. Sure. We look at them for scrap metal. We look at them for a number of different uh, uh, purposes. Uh, but all of them are there to, to obviously satisfy that uh, customer. That's something else I want to talk about here. We're going to go to the phones, but I, I want to talk about scrap metal. And, and I know you're working close with state officials trying to get down that theft. Yep. You know, there's a little bad connotation with that, but there's good people who scrap. As we were saying, it's, it may be the second oldest profession in the world, right? It, it has to be. <laughs> scrap metal. It has to be. You know, but you've got some people, they're very good people that come down there, and that's how they make their living, and right. they, make a, they do pretty well with it. Absolutely. Yeah, so I mean, I think it's really, as far as an economic engine, it's something a lot of people aren't aware of, and they may have items in their home that they could scrap and make some money instead of just letting it sit. We'll talk about that. Let's grab a couple of phone calls here, though, because I had some folks on hold. You're going to help me field these, right? All right. My co-host now, Sean Garber, is with me. All right, uh, we've got Robert in Oak Kelowna. Robert, are you celebrating the uh, anniversary, the 79th of the drive-in movies? Are you, are you celebrating that today? Uh, well, I was just uh, watching your program, and uh, actually I wanted to get uh, the phone number for the gentleman with, with the scrap metal place. I need a, I need a mirror. Uh, a side side view mirror that was knocked off of a uh, Hyundai. Great. And I, I I thought I was calling to to call the place, uh, <laughs> but uh, I also went to the drive-in movie, uh, the uh, the Preston uh, drive-in movie they asked me about, and I uh, enjoyed it a long time ago. All right. Well, thank you for both of those. Yes, you can give Great A Auto Parts a call. We'll put that information there. It is on your screen. Uh, be sure to give them a call about any of your needs. Yeah, with a rear view mirror, maybe you need a new carburetor, whatever the case may be, give them a call. We're going to talk about scrap metal and coming back and more of your phone calls. Appreciate your call, Robert. We'll be right back. John Ramsey with Sean Garber on Wave 3 Listens. Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens. I am joined by Sean Garber of Grade A Auto Parts. We're talking about the anniversary, the 79th anniversary of the drive-in movie theater. It was in 1933, the first drive-in opened. Some of my memories from drive-in theaters, I remember I took a, a young lady, I, man, I couldn't wait to take her to the movies. And we went to see Star Wars on a drive-in movie theater, and I, I don't think we saw one minute of that movie. 
Of course, we've just eaten popcorn. What year you know. was that? Yeah, boy, we don't want to talk no, about that. 19, Way back. 1901. <laughs> no, no, yeah. The Stone Age. I, I guarantee you this. We didn't have cell phones, all this social media. It was a little different, but times are changing. Some things, though, don't you wish that some things just didn't go away, and that would be one of them. That's what's great about driving. You, it's, it's like you're, you're secluded. That's right. It's, it's, it's really something from the past, right. and it brings back fond memories, your parents, et cetera. Let's grab a couple of them real quick, and I want to talk to you about scrap metaling because I think it, it is interesting. Let's talk to Sherry in South Louisville. Hi, Sherry. Hello. Hi, Sherry. How are you? I'm fine, and how are you? I'm doing well. Okay, you went to a drive-in movie theater. What movie did you see? Do you remember? Oh, yes, I remember. It was Mary Poppins. I will always remember that. Oh, that was... Uh, you forgot to mention there was a Twilight drive-in, too. Yeah, there, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, my husband and I, we had three children real close together. It was more economical to take them to a drive-in. Okay. And back in those days, the car sat at a little bit of an incline where they put the front seat up higher. Okay. So we'd let the children sit up in the front seat, and we would sit in the back seat. Okay. Well, this night, <clears throat> we're in the back seat, and we happen to notice the car next to us has two couples. Well, I'm hoping I can say this on television. <laughs> we're going to find out. couples were getting it on. <laughs> okay. well, my husband about broke his neck trying to look over to the <laughs> other car. Now, mind you, we were watching Mary Poppins. So, but that's not the best part. So, back in those days, you always saw two pictures. <laughs> well, when the second picture came on, uh -huh. the couples changed partners. <laughs> <laughs> my husband about had fit. All righty then. That, said, talk about your sloppy seconds. <laughs> That's a little different. Okay, you talk about, you know, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang suddenly just wasn't that interesting. You know, Mary Poppins, yeah. Dick Van Dyke, I remember. Who else was in that? Who, I'm trying to think of the actress. Uh, Andrews. A anyway, okay, thank you for the call. Appreciate it. All right, before, <laughs> Sherry, that was interesting. Before we grab another call. Is she I, sure that movie was Mary Poppins, not Star Wars? It, it might have been. Who knows? It, the, but I tell you what, that is a, a wild story, yeah. Um, with that being said, back to, because I, I am interested in this. The scrap metaling business, it has is, it is received, you'd admit this, Sean, some bad press. Yep. So, so talk to me a little bit. About, I guess it's because, is it the value of copper? Is copper the main culprit? Well, I think, you know, as commodities have spiked, it has, it has brought, and, I, and I've said this time and time again, 98% of the, the, the folks, our customers at Scrap, um, are good, hardworking entrepreneurs, and they have been for a long time. But when the commodities go up, it does attract some people who, who take things that uh, uh, obviously aren't theirs. And, and that brings um, concern, uh, valid concern, to the industry. So we have worked uh, diligently with state and local officials to, to come up with legislation to try to curb that type of, um, that type of theft and encourage the, the, uh, uh, you know, the customers that we obviously cater to sure. to be comfortable and come into our facilities. Yeah, because I've noticed it is state of the art. You actually have a camera there, so you, you're, you're filming everyone who is, who is selling metal. Right. Uh, you do work hand in hand with, with officials. Yep. And so, so you're doing your part. It, it, best case scenario, what would you do if you, if you were the leader of the land and you said, okay, scrap metal theft? Here's what, what would you do? What would you recommend, Sean? Well, I think there's, I know there are hard people working on this, but what I would do is once the issue that the the, the the we the biggest issue we run into is once we catch the person that has committed the crime to put them away prosecute them not let them out the next day so they can come back and do it again so those are the are the kind of penalties that i think need to be uh, uh, enforced. So the deterrent isn't enough. They're not doing anything. Well, if you can deter it, if they're allowed to do it again the next day, it, it becomes a burden on, as I said, the good businesses and the good people who use those services to feed their families, and, and that's the most important part that we need to protect. All right. I think I think your business is fascinating, but I want to get back to the main focus, and that is saving money. Once again, if you need an auto part, uh, I know you service a lot of some of the fine businesses in town. I don't know if you want to mention your clients. With that being said, though, the individual, if you're a guy who works on cars, a gal who works on cars, or if you just need a part and you're going, I'd like to save 50 to 60 percent, grade A auto parts, right? Well, the way our business is set up, we can help you both sides. Recycle, bring in, bring in recyclables sure. that most people feel don't have a lot of value. We're going to give you money for that and then take that hard-earned money and go ahead and save money by buying uh, parts for your car. So we, we try to... We try to benefit uh, all the way around. It, it's a 360-degree it's a cycle that someone can come in and benefit with our organization. All right. Once again, Sean Garber, Great A Auto Parts. Thank you, so, Sean. Appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Come back and see me. Thank all you right. for having me. We'll be right back. We're celebrating the anniversary of the drive-in theater. We'll be right back with Sean on Way 3 Listens.
Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens. Hey, that looks good, doesn't it? That's the amazing grilled cheese bacon thick burger, courtesy of Hardee's Bacon, Melted Swiss, and American Cheese. If you'd like one, yeah, we'll take care of you. Be the 10th caller at 888-800-9283. And you'll also win coupons for their breakfast wrap. So call right now, and you can win courtesy of Hardee's. Sean Garber, thank you very much. Thank you. You are my man, Sean Garber. Great ambassador for the city, great A Auto Parts, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching Wave 3 Listens.